All right, so look. This story, this one, I ain't gonna say this the one, but this, this, this the one. This, this, y'all. We, we about to get it. Y'all, we about to get into some things. Dick. I'm gonna need y'all to sit on and hold on tight for this one, okay? Because this, this story time, right here. Y'all, 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 This is a story. This is a story about my soul tie. Um, y'all, I ain't never in life been through no foolishness like this. This right here. Oh yeah, and you guys, this is probably going to be the setup for most of my videos. So like get used to this. This right there. What you see right here. This get used to this. Either that or I'm gonna take this lighting right here. You see this light? Cause that look like it's a good light. And I'm just gonna take that and just like flip it around because they look like this. I might use that, but for the rest of this uh, series, we're gonna, we gonna use this set. But y'all, anyway, like I said, this right here, woo! Y'all, this is the story. This is the story. This the one. This, this is the one, y'all. Who? What my Bible? <laughs> But anyway, all right, so this story, um, just to give you a little bit of background on this story, um, time, this particular incident, um, okay, so after I graduated from high school, me and my sister, we ended up moving, um, here, um, to, to, um, Oxford in this house, um, her husband had passed away, um, and so we still moved, still moved into his house, um, and, I gained a new family. I gained some siblings, you guys. I gained some siblings, and I like I don't act like it sometimes, but I truly love them. Um, I remember just going through that first little year, you know, right after my breakup. Um, they really made me smile. They really made me happy in ways that I um, would never have imagined. Um, they really gave me the hope that I needed. I think we all just needed each other. I wasn't able to feel what they were feeling because I didn't I hadn't lost my dad but I had lost a relationship that I felt was truly important to me and I was still grieving over that and just to have them during this time was really important to me these were my sister's step kids or these are my sister's step kids but my sister calls me like her child or whatever like that like she'll say like and I'm pretty sure y'all get to meet her but she'll say she'll be like yeah mama had you but you mine or whatever like that and so that's why I call her stepkids my siblings because like they 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 became brothers and sisters to me and so um along with them the oldest one he brought along he had two well he had a couple of friends of course but two other people that um begin to be significant in my life one of them is still significant in my life um and i call him my brother and so i'm pretty sure more than likely y'all gonna hear about him again and that's just me being truthful because he he'll he he's been faithful he's been a true brother to me and so i appreciate him for that but anyway all right so we're not gonna get ahead of ourselves this we're not gonna do we gonna breathe and we're gonna tell the story um, I come here, I meet these new people um, that I have in my life. And then, you know, at first they didn't really come around like that. Um, they didn't really come around like that. But then, like, the more we got into the summer, the more they started to come around. Um, I might actually have to divide this story into two parts simply because it's so long. Um, but anyway, we'll figure that out. Um... The oldest sibling is older than me, so, like, that's my older stepbrother. Um, and so, like I said, he had two people connected to him that were significant in my life. And the other one who, um, sorry, I jumped all over the place. But the other one who isn't so much present 
is still significant. And so I'm telling you guys this is because I'm, t- I'm trying to explain to you how I met the person that I ended up having this soul tie to. And so, um, like I said, we would come, they would come around a lot um, during the time, all the sittings, this, during the summertime. We ended up going on a trip, and like I said, it was me, my sister, uh, my stepbrother, and the other two guys. Um, and so, me and my stepbrother was here. Because at the time, he was in a community college. So, he would come home on the weekends. And when he come home, he would come here. And, of course, when he came, his friends would come. And so, like, this, like I said, the person I had a soul tie to, I would always see him. He would always be around every weekend. He would be around. Not to mention, he stayed in, in Oxford. And so, um, y'all know me. Your girl is a little flirt. And I was used to being around guys anyway, so I knew how to handle it. And so, girl... This I feel like this is my element, you know, like my older brother and all his brothers, I mean all his friends or whatever like that around. And I'm like, at the same time, I mean, be nice, but don't flirt with me. Let me flirt with you. Because if you flirt with me, I'm probably going to be like, uh-uh, what you doing? Go away. Anyway, so yeah. So I was like, yeah, this is my element or whatever like that. And I wound up in there playing video games and then like that with them. But you know what I do? I come my little, and at the time, I ain't even gonna lie, I was fast. I was a little fast. I have my little short. And y'all, I was still a little skinny then, a little small. I wasn't, I ain't got this little, I had this little pouch that I got now, y'all. And so I would come up in here. And not even being fast, but just being seen. I could have very well stayed in my room, but I'd come in here and turn on the TV, and I'd be watching TV or whatever like that. And I know they had to come through the front door, so you got to see me. And I'd be like, hey, <laughs> you know, acting as if I wasn't interested. And at this time, this is still the summertime. Um, so like I said, during this, like, during the summertime, he was always here because he wasn't in school no more. And so my stepbrother was always here, and his friends were always here. In and out, in and out, in and out. It was always a whole bunch of people here and so um your girl would be on the couch because i got to be nosy i can't be nosy in my room but anyway um so yeah so amongst all of these people coming in and out in and out in and out of course it wouldn't be right unless i fell for one of them <laughs> and so that's kind of exactly what happened um it was this one particular one he had caught my eye. He was around more than the rest of them. And your girl was like, Ooh, I need somebody to entertain me while I'm here anyway. I'm bored. Why not? And so, that's exactly what my little dumb self did. This particular dude, he would always be saying something to me. We would fight like cats and dogs, y'all. Like, that's just how our relationship went. Um, we would fight like cats and dogs. Like, I'd be like, nigga, you know, what, what's up? And he'd be like, he would poke and pride at me because he knew that he could get to me like that. Once my brother went back to school, I played it off like I needed his number for something. I can't even remember what I played off like I needed his number for. Um, but he gave it to me. And so when he gave it to me, I was texting, I was like, hey, this is, you know, Chanel, and I need you to do, do, do. Can you help me? Do the other. And so. From that, me acting like I needed something. At first, he was just like kind of real standoffish or whatever like that. But eventually, he came around because your girl is a flirt. And he started, you know, flirting back or whatever like that, talking back. And so, um, like I said, your girl is a freshman in college. I need, well, not that I need it. I wanted some kind of male attention and I ain't feel like having to I guess look around campus with it if that makes sense um when I can choose from a variety of dudes that have been in and out of my house all summer and so it was him and so at first like when we started like we we did we started having sex or whatever like that and at first like that was all I wanted that was all he was really there for and not to mention during this time, this is a time when I was starting to be a part of organizations in college or whatever like that. It was crazy because I had, you know, all this stuff going on, you know. And during the time when we had just first started texting is when I had started, you know, just really, like, 
connecting on campus or whatever. And so I remember I started going to this um, campus ministry. Um, and it's kind, of, it's kind of like right now it's kind of blurry. Anyway, so yeah, this one particular campus organization I got really, really involved in. Um, and it was a, a, a Christian organization. So. And I was really a part of that. But like I said, in my free time, I was also texting this guy. Because like, I like liked him, but I didn't really like him like that. Like I was just like, you cool or whatever. But I don't really, really want to be with you like that. Like, I just want what I want. I don't want you. I don't want there to be a us. But also the dialect between us was like, it was kind of cool. It was, you know, or whatever like that. And the reason I mention it is campus ministry because it's going to be um, important later on down the down the line. I'm a freshman in college. I'm trying to figure this stuff out. And not to mention, I'm getting over a relationship. And you know, a lot of times we um, are trying to get over relationships by entertaining something else, you know. And so, like, it gave me um, a chance to distract myself, you know, from that. You know um and eventually i kind of got over it um and it was cool you know but i was going throughout my freshman year and um i was kind of like i wasn't really just really focusing on school like that uh, not i was kind of like you know put my best foot forward but at the same time it was just like i was real relaxed um, I was just real like, you know, whatever. I really wasn't just like doing the best that I could. I could have been doing way better than what I was. Um, like I said, I had gotten closer to my guy best friend from preschool. Um, I mentioned him in my get to know me video. Um, so I had got we had gotten back close. Um, and we ended up going to this campus ministry together. And so this particular um campus ministry. We went in together, um, and we were just like we had gotten really, really close again all over. Again. Like we were always together. Like we would go, it would be him, me, him, and then another one of my friends who was really, you know, a good friend for me, a uh, good friend to me. We would always be together. We were all in this campus ministry together. Um, we would call each other when it was time for us to go to lunch. We'd be out of class. Hey, what you doing? Um, let's go such and such. Let's go to the union or let's go to Rubber Mark. A lot of times we spend our time in Rubber. Um, so we would go to River Market, you know, or whatever like that. Um, we would always be going somewhere together. And so um, these became to be important people to me in my life. And they are still important to me simply because um, they helped me get through a lot of life lessons. In the back of me going through all of this, keep in mind that my soul tie, um, I'm still, we still texting each other off and on. Um, and so... Um, like I said, we had, we were just going through campus life. We were um, in the campus ministry. We were becoming involved. And we were just some freshmen trying to explore. We freshmen exploring adulthood, I guess, you know, on a college campus, becoming who we uh, were as people, you know. Um, and so we... Um, I can't even remember when I actually started having sex with um, this guy. But I know by the time I had started having sex with this guy, I was, like I said, in the campus ministry. And I was becoming more and more involved. But in the back of my head, I knew that I was doing this. Um, and the more I would um, go and be a part of the campus ministry, the more I would be like, yeah. I don't need to be doing this, you know, I don't need to be doing this, um, but we never just really just really stopped talking to each other, um, it was just like kind of like in the background, and, um, we would kind of, you know, hook up every now and then, but I was really just trying to pursue, um, the, I was trying to pursue God is what it was um but i still couldn't quite just stop fooling with him for some reason 
and um i had gone through my whole freshman year and i had messed up some of my classes so i had took some classes during the summer semester and not to mention some stuff was going on with me and this guy had gotten a girl pregnant and at first i didn't really know it and at the same time it wasn't really my business like we weren't really talking like that um but it was just like you know you having sex with me and you having sex with somebody else that's what it was in my head because i'm just like i, I wait i thought this was you know they, they, I, it, it ain't supposed to be that type of party you know not saying that you're supposed to only be for me and i'm supposed to only be for you but we ain't supposed to be dipping and dabbing you know what i'm saying we ain't supposed to be in the cookie jars like that we ain't supposed to be doing that because i what we doing we ain't supposed to be what Anyway, and so, um, of course, we were following each other on Snapchat, and y'all, let me tell y'all some Snapchat, between Snapchat and Facebook, I be finding out stuff that I don't be wanting to know. Anyway, and so, like, we were friends on Snapchat, and for a period, we weren't really, we had, like I said, we were, we were talking text off and on, and so, like, somewhere along there, he had, um, started messing with this girl that he had talk to and i remember this particular first incident because um my sister had to leave and i had missed my very first day of summer classes because i didn't have a ride keep in mind my stupid stepbrother had given this dude a key and this dude came in here and he brought a female in here with him and so, like, I knew, y'all, yeah, I couldn't sleep that whole night. I was so pissed off. I, when I said I done been through some crazy stuff with this nigga, I done been through some crazy stuff with this dude. I done been through some crazy stuff with this dude. Like, this dude literally brought this female in here with me. Disrespectful. And that should have been bottom line. You get what I'm saying? I don't remember if we were into it or what it was at the time or what it was, but he, he had disrespected me. Like, he had disrespected me in more than one way, but this particular, like I said, or this particular, I remember this because y'all was supposed to be starting my first day of class, Miss first day of class because I couldn't get there. Y'all, I was so pissed off because I remember when he walked through the door, I was like, what he doing here? And so, like, I was in the bathroom, and of course, like, the bathroom door, it, like, kind of blocks the hallway or whatever like that. And so I remember him like pushing on the bathroom door or something like that. And when he pushed the bathroom door, I like, I pushed that door with all my mind. Oh, yeah, I was hoping I had hit because I could hear him coming in with the girl. And yeah, I remember it because he, he had a car and the car was so loud. So it was like, you couldn't, you couldn't. When he was coming, you knew he was coming. You know what I'm saying? You could hear him from down the street. You knew he was coming. And so, y'all, I could hear him coming in. I could hear the girl with him. And so, like, when he pushed that door, y'all, I was trying to knock somebody's teeth out their mouth. I ain't care who I hit, but I was trying to hit them, y'all. Trying to knock them out their feet, baby. Do you hear me? I'm trying to... Oh, do you hear me? All that. I'm trying to knock you out. I'm trying to knock you out. <laughs> so, y'all, like I said, I was... And I could not, I remember I had closed my door. Like, still to this day, that particular, because, like, I got a whole bunch of um, movies that had, like, more than, y'all already know what kind of CD I'm talking about, but it got more than one uh, movie on it. And I, I remember, to this day, I still can't watch that particular um, CD because of what was going on the last time I had watched them. And so, y'all had, at that time, I could close my door. I can't close my door right now. And I had closed my door and I had locked myself in my room. Y'all, I could not sleep that whole night because I was just like, this nigga really disrespected me on so many levels. He really, like, brought this female in here. And at, and at the time, I couldn't really be mad at the female because she ain't really know. Or from my understanding, she ain't really know. That's why I was upset with him because I had found out that he was doing what he was doing. And so, um, I really couldn't be mad at her. But y'all, when I said I wanted to snatch him up, I want to snatch him up. But anyway, so we went through the rest. Like I said, I went through the rest of the summer or whatever like that. You would have thought that my dumb self would have um, had left him alone. But I didn't. And you know what? That's okay. But anyway, and so um, I had finished um, summer school or whatever like that. And 
I ended up having to sit out a year and a half. I ended up having to sit out a year and a half because I had gotten the balance from going to summer school. And I really just didn't realize just how big that balance was. And um, I couldn't pay that. I couldn't pay that money off. Like I couldn't. I couldn't pay that money off and go back to school. So like it was kind of had kind of hurt my feelings. Um, but in that time. Um, I was actually um, in the steps of becoming a leader in the process of all this going on. And so I had gone to the training for being a leader or whatever like that. And they still allowed me to lead even though I wasn't going to be in school. And at this time, I had had my own girls under me because I had become a leader. And so I was had my, girl, had my girls under me. And this was when um, I actually got close with Hannah. Uh, and Hannah is my best friend. That's my pair. Um, and I'm pretty sure y'all be able, y'all will meet her eventually. But that that's my best friend. That's like my other half. You know what I'm saying? And so that is when I met her. Um, and well, not just met her because I had been knowing her. We had came from the same hometown. Um, we had gone to the same schools for the majority of our lives. But we just and we were like in the same organizations, but we were never close because she was. A year under me and so like I said she was the one of the people that was um under me and I had um two other girls one of the girls was the friend that I had gotten close to um my freshman year. and then the other one um I I had still have a relationship with her now and so um I had gotten really close with them and like I said in the background of all this y'all I'm still texting fooling with this dude off and on and so um i had gotten really close with them and i was just trying to pursue um pursue jesus i was just trying to do better about myself and it still really hadn't clicked as to why i really just couldn't stop with this dude for the longest time i was very secretive about it one because i was embarrassed about the stuff that i had been putting up with and um too because i just didn't want nobody to know i was out here living a double life <laughs> but that's how i felt anyway but i was so tore up not, about not being able to go back to school so i was just like dang this messes up the life plan that i have for myself jesus you know but in that time i was able to just get closer to god um i had more time to concentrate on him more time to concentrate on the task that he had for me during that time. It goes down on Snapchat, baby. It goes down on Snapchat. And when she did that, you guys, your girl lost it. Banging on the door. Banging on the door. And I'm like, you need to get up. 